Today, we're having a look at the Smishy Cow K2 keyboard. Now, when they reached out to me and showed me a glimpse of the product right away, I was like, send this over to me. I really want to try it out because this is genuinely one of the most interesting keyboard designs I've seen in a while. So much so that I thought it was worth doing a power review on it. So as always, today we're going to take a deep dive to see who this keyboard might be for, what it offers, and ultimately answer the question of whether or not it might be the one for you. As always, if you guys enjoy the content, hit the like button and sub to my channel. Let's get started. Starting off with a real quick unboxing, the first thing you're going to find is the fact that this box is pretty large. So you have a gold print of the actual device. So you can see it's pretty nice there. And then at the bottom, it says multifunction touch keyboard. Now, once you remove the paper envelope, then past that, the real box is there. Proceed to open this box, which opens in a very glorious fashion, and you have some protective packaging. Remove that, and here it is, the crown jewel, the K2 keyboard. This thing seriously looks really nice, and we're gonna go ahead and remove that screen protector peel, and here it is, that seamless glass surface finish. But more on this keyboard in a quick minute. Past that, you have two individual sets of cables. The first one is a USB-C to USB-C cable, which is the best way to connect one side on the keyboard, the other on the desktop. But for those of you who may not have a USB you know, cable to spare, or port to spare that is, you can always go with the second set of cables included, which is a HDMI to USB-C cable, so good to have that option. Now past that, you're also going to notice you do have this really nice plush wrist pad. This is to put beneath the keyboard as a nice rest, good stuff. Past that, you also have this high quality soft cloth case to actually put the entire keyboard inside of. It's a protective case should you want to travel around with it. And past that, you'll notice you also have a key switcher tool. Yes, this is a hot swappable keyboard. I'll talk more about that in a quick minute as well. And finally, the instruction manual, quick start guide and warranty information booklet. As far as design goes, the K2 very much looks like a 75% keyboard. You have high profile keys, although you don't have the function set of keys over here. Now, the actual keyboard build is mostly hard TPU or plastic, if you will. Making our way to the rear side, you'll notice that's where you have a plus minus option selector. And also another button, which actually brings up the main menu within the keyboard. Now past that, you have a USB-C port to connect as the source of display and power and two USB-A ports, which are optional for third-party accessories. Nice of them to include that. Now at the bottom side of the keyboard, again, a hard TPU or plastic finish. However, you do have these two height razors with a single tier adjustable setting. This is if you want to give more height to your keyboard. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, that massive 12.6 inch display. Now it has a resolution of 1920 by 1550p, meaning it's pretty high def and it's really crisp. But what I love about this display is the fact that you could technically fit an entire operating system and use this as a sole display. Of course, I wouldn't recommend that. Rather, using the touch functionality you have in this display, it's a better extension display or extension tool. For example, if you're doing video editing and you want to swap the color grading tool using your fingers, bring it over to the secondary display and play around there. Or if you're reading a article or writing up a Word document, you can use this as the secondary research display, which shows context from all the websites you're researching from. There's many ways to use it. And it's worth noting this is fully compatible with Mac OS, Windows, and even Android. So lots of functionality with this display. It's definitely a very handy tool. As far as the actual keyboard itself goes, the keycaps have plenty of surface area and ample amount of key travel and great feedback as you'd expect with a mechanical keyboard. Whether you're doing general productivity tasks or even gaming, you'll find it's a very pleasurable machine or device to use. Now, with that said, this does come equipped with Gateron Blue switches, meaning it's going to be both tactile and relatively loud. If you like blue switches, you're gonna love it. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, you cannot pre-configure this with brown or red switches, so blue is kind of what you get by default. So have a quick listen for yourself.
for you color maniacs out there, in case you have not noticed, yes, this keyboard is fully backlit and it comes with all the RGB hipster lighting you could possibly desire. You can swap through the multiple modes as well as color settings, and you'll find more on that in the instruction manual. Now, it's also worth noting that this keyboard, like I mentioned earlier, is fully hot swappable, meaning you can remove the keycaps and modify them, but also remove the Gateron Blue switches and swap them with other compatible switches. It's nice to have that option. Now, two major factors of consideration with this keyboard. First and foremost, keep in mind, this is a wired keyboard, meaning you have no wireless connectivity options. Of course, this makes total sense given the fact that this keyboard has an entire display to power up, so it'd be impossible to have it running on a battery without you having super short battery life. The second factor to keep in mind is while the display in itself is very nice in terms of its quality, it is susceptible to large amounts of glare because it has a super reflective screen, and I do find the brightness falls slightly short when you are using it in really bright rooms or in daylight settings, so keep that in mind as well. At $420, the Mishikao K2 keyboard is definitely in the premium market. However, that 12.6 inch display has plenty to offer. It's got a nice resolution, so everything looks nice and clear on it. Additionally, it's got a 10 point touch system. So, you know, it's great when you wanna use your fingers to actually adjust various settings or play around or scroll. And it's great for productivity, gaming, and content creation type of activities. Also, I love the fact that you do have Gateron Blue switches on here, meaning this keyboard is exceptionally amazing to type on. It's great, again, for gaming or general productivity. And overall, I also appreciate the fact that this is a modern keyboard with a USB-C type connection, which really allows for a whole world of opportunities. And like I said, it's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and even Android. So lots of compatibility, lots of things happening over here. Now, if you are someone looking for a dedicated second monitor, you may be better off getting a second monitor. But if you're looking for an extension to your display that also adds touch functionality, Again, there are very few keyboards like this and it brings a lot of unique elements. If you guys are interested in purchasing this keyboard, I have left an affiliate link below in the video description. Feel free to check that out. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button and sub to my channel. Thank you for watching. See ya.